Hey, hey, it's Mike O'Neill here with Magic Brad, Brad Goodham, and Brad, you got a big show coming up. You have the Minnesota Event Planners Expo. Did I get it right? You got it right. Actually, back back, back in the early days when it first started, it was the uh, the Great Minnesota Event Show, and then it's changed a little bit. And now the real name for it on, for search engine stuff is uh, is the Minnesota Event Planners and Suppliers Expo. Oh, you gotta have the long tail the keyword well, there, right? Sure, I get that. Sure, yeah, I get that. It's, it's I get the internet that. world. <laughs> so, so who exhibits at an event like this? This particular event, this this round. Who are you expecting? Well, this is for the the broad, wide vertical of events in general. So it's people that supply any kind of event, whether it be caterers, limousine services, uh, staging, lighting, audio visual companies, limousine companies, face painters and caricaturists, magicians. Um, oh. Entertainers, speakers, uh, um, porta potties, um, power generators, fencing, bleachers, tables, linens, list goes on. Rock and roll bands, Rock I bet. Rock and roll right? bands in a minute. I'll bet some <laughs> bands cater more to events than others, as opposed to going on tour. They decide they're gonna, you know, do weddings or something. Yeah, there's there's certain bands sometimes that uh, they want to do corporate events that are, you know, less drug, sex, and rock and roll, a little more sophistication. Absolutely. Uh, oh, those, those days, huh? Uh, so, so who attends such an event? This this particular event here. The people that plan events. The people that uh, plan and promote. Um, one of the areas is corporate events. So corporations end up doing like uh, employee parties, company picnics, holiday parties, um, awards banquets, ceremonies, uh, hmm. trade shows, seminars, workshops, trainings. That's corporate kind of stuff. Then association, like. Uh, the Minnesota Turkey Growers Federation. They have their conference okay. and their convention, which has might have a trade show in it, so they need signage and they need- Fun one there. They need <laughs> registration. Boy, we have a lot of fun today, don't we? <laughs> then there's weddings, the whole wedding industry. That, that's then there's a fairs. Whole world over there, isn't it? Fairs, festivals, city celebrations, uh, um, galas, fundraisers, private parties. Um, uh, I see a lot of crossover between the people that attend the show and the people that exhibit at the show because there are, you know, half of that list was folks that attend were on the list of folks that might exhibit as well. Makes for some really good networking. It, at a, there at there definitely is that bridge, the, the, the bridge of the yin and the yang, putting the two people together to make it happen, the people that plan the events and the people that supply the events. Basically, when, when I first started this, it was a neutral playing field for event planners and suppliers to meet, network, and do business. Make that's a nice little connection. tagline. That's what it used there, to be. There's your domain right there. <laughs> that's that's the old domain. <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> All right, so how do you promote this? I mean, you're a master. I mean, really got, got promotion down. <laughs> so, so I mean, you can make sure you discuss the obvious, but what well, are you doing beyond the obvious as well? Well, things have changed this? since the inception of the internet. When we first started doing it, we used to chisel it onto tablets and then send them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. There we go, <laughs> one letter at a time. No, we you know you abbreviate, don't you? Well, I don't know how old you are, but I remember when there was just channel four, five, nine, and eleven. That was it, and channel two, and and TV shut off at midnight. Well, those days yeah, have changed. Ahead. So now we got social media and the internet. So there's, you know, Facebook ads, and you know about LinkedIn and uh, the, the advertising on that, and the whole networking with that, and the blogging, the SEO kind of element to it. We're still doing direct mail postcards. And then just networking with other people. I mean, you can send something out to somebody that's got a network of event-related people. We invite the uh, organizations like Meeting Professionals International, International Live Events Association, National Association of Catering Executives, Society of Incentive Travel Executives, the National the Speakers Association, National Speakers and, on Association. and on and on and on. Yes. Um, so we, we've tantalized our audience <laughs> quite a bit without telling them where or when, how to find out anything about it. So there's a setup for you, Brad. Oh, it's April, April 1st. It's just a big joke. We're just kidding. No. <laughs> That'll be my birthday, by the way, and Is it would really? be a big joke. Is not on my birthday, you're not holding that. It's no. my day. No, it's March 5. March 5. It's, it's always been the first week in March since 1991. All right. And so it's uh, this specific one that's coming up is March 5th, 2019, at Earl Brown Heritage Center. That's a Tuesday, and the exhibits are there from 3 o'clock to 7 p.m. Beautiful. And I'll be okay. keynoting, or at least one of the keynoters at the event. Michael, so join present. us. Yes, that's going to be so much fun. Right? Join us. We're coming apart. Going to have a little <laughs> bit of fun, are we? Hey, yes. And there'll be social hour for sure That's right. at the end. We'll see you there.